wanted to come out and be aggressive, you know. Celtics Lakers is a matchup that, you know, kids dream about, regardless of who's on the court, having those Lakers fans back in the arena. We just wanted to come out and get a win. 40 points for Jalen Brown. We all wrote the Boston Celtics off. Me included. I'll admit that. Wondered if Brad Stevens should be fired. Wondered if the Celtics should blow it up and rebuild. But while we were wondering all that, Boston won 7-8. Went from under 500 to closing fast on a fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. And they're going to get it, too, easily, if Jalen Brown keeps playing like this, keeps playing like he did last night. Putting up 40 on the Lakers on 17 of 20 shooting, lights out. And over Boston's five-game winning streak, the longest winning streak in the East, a winning streak that includes road wins over the Nuggets, Blazers, and Lakers, by the way. Jalen Brown, that man is averaging over 28 points per game. If the Celtics have this Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum doing what he does, don't forget, Tatum went for 53 just last week and says he's only now starting to feel like himself after getting COVID in January. And then you add Kemba Walker rounding into shape too? Well, on behalf of NBA fans across the world, I'd like to officially welcome the Boston Celtics to the 2021 NBA season. It took y'all long enough, damn it. Took you a while to show up. We only have a month until the playoffs. But from what we've seen lately, you showed up just in time. The Boston Celtics just may end up being a problem come playoff time, y'all. Yesterday, it was announced that Michael Jordan will present the late, great Kobe Bryant at Bryant's Basketball Hall of Fame induction ceremony next month. And let me tell you, the choice couldn't be more perfect. Kobe tried to emulate Michael Jordan in every way, from the very start, from the time he was a teenager at Lower Marion High School, through to the end of his playing career with the Los Angeles Lakers. And Michael Jordan has said that only Kobe ever got close to that standard, to being the heir apparent, per se. Not LeBron. Kobe. Michael Jordan related to Kobe like no other player, like he understood Kobe's insatiable drive to dominate, at least as well as anyone could understand what made Kobe Bryant tick. Michael Jordan's basketball career was full of unforgettable moments. We all know that. But his words last year at the memorial service for Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant, we'll remember those forever too. I think we're in for a special moment again at Kobe's induction ceremony. A man of Kobe Bryant's stature deserves nothing less. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.